Oh, and they just quit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Quitting. It's gonna quit on me. And they just quit. Awesome, I am. Quitting. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shadowverse. This is Drew Bidu, and today we're gonna be talking about the newest expansion that's coming out, Dawnbridge Night's Edge. Now, yes, of course, anyone who does follow Shadowverse does know that, you know, they've released cards literally since, like, the beginning of March. Uh, but this is more of me just giving me my, giving my opinions on, you know, how good the cards are. Uh, it seems this expansion is, has a new choose mechanic, quote-unquote choose mechanic, so you get to, when you fulfill a certain amount of, or fulfill a certain condition, the card that you played can turns into like can turn into two different cards, and you pick one, and one card is more aggressive, one is more defensive. Yada yada yada. You get the gist. And without further ado, I'm going to uh, go right into the cards. This video is gonna be broken up into many smaller videos, just because I'm gonna try going through all of them as fast as possible. I'm not gonna go all through so, every single uh, card just with the ones that i think are going to be like, really good either or see a blessing often, of or creation of a thing oh, without further ado let's yeah, excuse me put either a blessings of creation or a wrath of nature into your hand it is a two six with drain at seven that's those are some really shitty stats <laughs> for something that doesn't add extra creature these are both spells the blessing of creation and the Wrath of Nature. And you're probably wondering, what are those spells? Well, of course, Shadowverse didn't decide to tell us anything. But the rest of the internet has. And we're going to go to use this lovely, lovely Google Drive Excel chart that Oni was kind enough to pass around. So shout out to the people on 4chan. Uh, let's see. So... Blessing Creations is zero play point spell, draw two cards, if, but if you play for two, you add two to the number of card pl cards played this turn. Wrath of Nature, another zero play point spell, give an allied follower plus one plus zero and rush, and then if you play four, then give all allied followers storm. Um, I don't know how I would feel about this card. This card is very slow, and the stats are very bad so i can't even say it's gonna be used in the aggro um i i don't know if you were playing yggdrasil i can only imagine they would be you know playing a more end game controly deck so it probably be using the blessings of creation in my mind at least um but yeah like, and I'm sure in Unlimited, this is, like, super good. Just because there's so many cards it can... It has synergy with. Um, the end rotation... Eh, could be better. Definitely could be better. White Vanada. War. During this follower's attack... If this follower's attack or defense is increased by a spell or an effect during your turn of all this follower... Evolved, Storm, and Ward. So this is a really fucking good card. First of all, I love the evolution, like, art. Like, it actually changed as opposed to other cards. Like, you know, usually when cards change, they, uh... Or, like, when someone evolves, like, the, the art doesn't change that much. It does change, but, like, they're still doing, like, the same basics. It's based off the same basic art of their unevolved form. This looks totally different, which I'm... Which I really think is cool. But also, yeah, Storm Ward, very aggressive. This is really good for aggro, essentially. This is basically made for aggro. Um, yeah, it's pretty scary. Pretty scary stuff. I'm excited for it. I like it. And Siri can shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, let's move on to the next one. Paula, Icy Warmth. If two other cards are played this turn and you have at least two play points, choose. Play this as either a Paula Gentle Warmth or a Paula Passionate Warmth. 
And we are going to see what that does. Paula. Gentle warmth. It, it, it. Thank you. Return an allied follower amulet to your hand. So bounce your stuff back to your hand, which is cool. And then Paula Passionate Warmth. Uh, fanfare, deal one damage to an enemy follower. I feel like a lot of people are, are going to be using the second ability more because you can just ping stuff. That's going to have real good synergy with uh, Wood of Brambles. So that's pretty cool. I like it. It's, it's a good card. Fashionista Nalka. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm just... Once again, like every video I do, it is late at night and I'm very tired. But... Um, fanfare, choose, put either an angel's dress or a demon's dress into your hand. Let's go look at what that is. Angel's dress, one play point spell, give plus one plus one to an ally follower. Demon's dress, one point play spell, one play point spell, excuse me. Chain enemies, followers, defense to one. Um, it's very good. Everyone's going to be using demon's dress because it's, you literally just, can kill something with the wood brambles cost one play point spell uh i can see people running this card yeah yeah she's she seems okay forest whispers transform enemy follower into a fairy put a fairy into your hand and this is really good i think we're gonna be seeing this a lot transforming cards is like <laughs> that's like that's a very powerful thing to have um it's better than the the four drop one, the, the neutral one that turns that turns anything into a angel, a one three angel with drain, in my opinion, because you turn into a one one fairy. Excuse me. Um. So yeah, very good card. I feel like it's gonna be used a lot. On to swordcraft. Sky Commander Celia. If you have at least Five play points. Choose. Play this card as Celia, Hope Strategist, or Celia, Despair's Messenger. Let's go see what bullshit that is. Yay, Swordcraft. So, oh. Celia, Despair's Messenger. It's a 2 forward storm. And Fanfare. I gave plus one plus zero for each other allied follower in play. And return all other allied followers to your hand. So, if you evolve it and there you have like a full field on your hand, it be can become an 8 6. Yikes. <laughs> At turn 5. So, mm, yeah. This is really good. I think it's really balanced in the fact that all you have to do is clear the field and like. She's not as good, but there's like a lot of spells that generates like a lot of followers. So, and she's also good because you can just use her end game as well. She's a, she definitely can be an end game finisher. Sure, you don't have to use her turn five. She's basically good in like any deck. She's also really dangerous because her synergy with uh her synergy with Arthur is very very. You know, deadly. That's the first thing I think about. Because he can put a bunch of followers on the field. The ones that do survive can hit the phase. <laughs> and then you play Celia, bounce them all back, and she just does a lot of damage. So this card is really good. Um, I also like this one. She's a 2 4. Summon a shield guardian and a heavy knight. For a second, I was wondering, I was like, oh, why is this card good? Like, because a Heavy Knight is just a 1-2, and a Shield Guardian is just a 1-1 one, one with a Ward. And then I thought to myself, she's good because she gives you all those bodies without evolving. I thought she was, I was comparing her to, like, the Floral Dancer and the other one who, like, heals you, but gives you, like, two Knights when she evolves. But this just gives you, like, you don't have to use an Evolution Point to do it, so I guess that's what... That's what her worth is. Very, very good card. I'm kind of excited for it, even though I hate Swordcraft. Innocent Princess Prim. Ambush. 
Fanfare 8, game plus 3 plus 3, put a non just silent maid into your hand and change its cost to 0. Excuse me, so... Now playing this on turn 2 is cool because it's a 1-3 with ambush, so it's, it can be pr it's pretty aggressive, if I do say so myself. And it's a commander, so it'd be good for the, for the centaur. Uh... But yeah, this enhanced ability is interesting because it gains plus three plus three. It becomes a four six, and then you get to play another creature for zero. Um, what is a nonja maid? Let's find out. A uh, nonja silent maid ward game bane if an like commander is in play. So essentially, you play this right after. It can protect. It can basically protect it from like any monster trying to kill it. So, in that case, it's really, really good. Also, it protects you at the same time because of the ward. So, I think it's a good card. It's a good card. Turn 8 is, like, a long time, but, you know, if there was any sooner, then this card would be, like, a legendary. So, a very good card. I like the Prim Princess a lot. Chromatic Duel. Add... Either a Queen Himera the white or Queen Magnus the black to your hand. Enhance six. Add a Queen Himera the white and a Queen Magnus the black to your hand instead. And recover six play points. Hmm. Wait. I act like this, that sounds wrong. Uh... Oh, if you play enhanced six, you can play, you can just essentially play them on turn six. Oh, because they only cost four play points. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Never mind. So that's really cool. Uh, so it's a three three with rush. Whenever this follower attacks, summon a knight. And the three four is all allies followers can't be damaged by spells and effects. This effect lasts until the end of your opponent's turn. That's pretty strong. That's a pretty strong ability. Especially at that point in the game, if you play it for six, like that can really mess up like a runecraft deck. I really like it. I like, yeah, it's gonna be really powerful. Oh god, everything's gonna be really powerful. I can't wait. <laughs> so holy bear knight, I really like this card because it's essentially the uh, it's a two-two with ward that whose name I kind of forget right now. Um, and I use her, and everyone runs her. Well, I used to run her, but now whew, they have a better version of her because this knight has enhanced five, gains two plus two plus two, makes it a four four for five, which I think is pretty decent stats for a bronze card, and it still has a ward. So yeah, a two two with ward, great card. I this is I feel like this is. This kind of like offense defense thing is kind of what Swordcraft needed when it first came out. So I feel like it's gonna get a lot stronger now with cards like this and everything else I just mentioned. Runecraft, let's fucking go. Ah, uh, Rooney, Destiny's Bard, Fanfare, choose. Put either a Prophecy of, of Boons or a Prophecy of Doom into your hand. Whenever this follower attacks, spell boost the cards in your hand. So, essentially, wait, first we should look up what those other spells are. Okay. Prophecy of Boons. Draw two cards. If this card has been spell boosted at least five times, recover two play points. So, draw two cards for free. Pretty good. Prophecy of Doom. 
15 play point spell. Give enemy leader the following effect. At the end of your turn, deal 7 damage to your leader. Spell boost. Subtract 0 from the, from the cost of this card. So basically you spell boost it down. Um, so yeah. Um, right away, this card, I know my, uh, of course, you know, Oni was super sad about this card. He was like, oh no, it's another, uh, whatchamacallit, it? oh, what was it? Dimensional Shift. It's similar, but not the same. For starters, um, the earliest you can get the spell is turn five. And while, yes, because she spell boosts when she attacks, it's going to be always 14. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah. The fact that you can't start out with it in the game is already makes it, well, balanced. At least in my opinion. Excuse me. Um, but, yeah. It's a st don't get me wrong, it's a strong card. It's just, it's not as broken as Dimension Shift. All it does is deal some damage to, like, the leader. And I know that's, like, a pretty big ability, but, like, D-Shift was a lot more malleable than that. It was not so... <laughs> There's a lot you can do with an extra turn. Trust me. But, yeah. I just, I don't know, it's either you love cards like this or you don't, and I do. I can't wait for this. Um, doing seven damage. Oh, God, that's so strong. But yeah. No, but with all the cards rotating out, Dario rotating out, and, you know, Burn Runecraft is going to get weaker. It already got weaker. It took quite a hit, losing some good cards. Uh, this this was needed. This was needed to, or else Runecraft wouldn't be relevant anymore. And I refuse to lit play a game where Runecraft isn't. You know, relevant. And by giving me meta. But yeah. Good card. Great card. All my vials and my money are going to it. Snowman King. Fanfare. Choose one snow knight or one wild snowman. Spell boost. Summon one more. Huh. First of all, once again, I love the animation. Like, they're actually changing the animations. Which I think is really cool. Uh, Snowman King. So it gets summon a Snow Knight or a Wild Snowman. A Snow Knight is a 2 2 with Ward. A Wild Snowman is a 1 3 with Storm. Most people are going to do the 2 2 with Ward just because that makes the most sense. Uh, I guess you can play the Wild Snowman if you're trying to finish it up. Um, you know, you can evolve one and then attack for 3, 4, 5, 6. So yeah, I guess you could always do that, but I think more than not, you know, having, excuse me, having a 2-2 two -two with ward, 4-2-2 two -two with wards is going to be kind of crazy, and it's like, oh no, I just have to play four spells to get a complete field, how will I ever survive? Yeah, no, this card is super broken, and... I need three of them immediately. I don't know why this isn't a legendary, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Mysterian Wormist. It's a Mysteria card. Oh, I love Mysteria. I want it to get stronger and better and more beautiful all the time. And I think this card's going to help. If you have at least six play points, choose. Play this card as either a Mysterian White Worm or a Mysterian Black Worm. And what that is... A Mysterian White Worm. Add a Mysterian Circle to your hand. Give all Mysterious spells in your hand the following effect. Draw a card. That's pretty great. <laughs> like, infinite card draw is great. Um, and then, Mysterian Black Worm. Add a Mysterian Missiles into your hand. Give all Mysterious spells in your hand the following effect. Deal one damage to the enemy leader. Yeah, everyone's going to be going for the second ability. It's just very broken. It's very, very, very broken. Uh, like, especially if you combine it with Mysteria. Uh, like, the actual card, Mysteria. The 5-drop. 
like you can be doing some insane damage. Like I feel like this might turn into like the new burn like runecraft deck. So very excited for that card. I, I kinda like it. 